Assalamu alaikum people. Assalamu alaikum. What's good? What's good? Shalom. Shalom people hotel. What's good with it? Power to my people. What's good peeps? I know I gotta check in with you. See how you doing? See how you doing? This is your host Musa Azarkar. Do me a favor. Like this video. Share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You will be notified. You feel me? Yo, gotta talk about it. Gotta talk about it. It's one of, one of my favorite sci fi flicks. One of my favorite video games. I got turned on to it by my nephews because they had a PlayStation. I was always a, a Dreamcast or a Sega guy. They used to play the game called Resident Evil. I used to hear about it. And until I played it, you know, I kind of got the uh, the essence of the game, you know. Um, going through hallways, hearing motherfuckers knock on the door, trying to go through the door, hearing people breathe on the other side of the room. And it's just, it was, it was off the chain, you know, full of suspense. And then they came out with the movies. Oh, yes. I love Resident Evil movies. The weakest one I probably seen was um, actually I, I enjoyed all of them, but the one that was kind of the weakest is probably the one with the clone. That's just to me, just to me. You know, it moved so fast, it didn't make no sense because they brought back all the prominent uh, actors in previous movies. Uh, one, two. And three, they brought him back. I want to say, was it in five? Yeah, I brought him back in five, I believe. And, you know, the character Wesker and all that. It was kind of whack how they killed him. Because Wesker was a bad motherfucker and it just took, just had to kill him. That's a different ball game. But, yeah, they are talking about doing a reboot. Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A reboot. Of Resident Evil. And the full cast is announced. And you know, Capcom been having this gym. It's been at the movies for what? Going on 15 years now. But they're in developing and making a reboot. James Wan and Giannis uh, Roberts are the producers of this. And you know, um, Wan, he departed to go lend help in making the Mortal Kombat video game. So he got some skills somewhere. He got an eye somewhere for the talent. You know what I'm saying? Roberts, however, is still on board and has already promised that the film will stickly close to the source material. I am so glad of that. Stick to the video game and the storyline of Umbrella and what they're about. You know what I'm saying? Alice or whoever. But this is going to concentrate more on Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine and Raccoon City. Know what I mean, Vern? Hey, like this video, share, subscribe. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that mug in there right now. And you check it out for yourself. I hope you like this video. Share, subscribe. Peace and a bottle of hybrids.